This video is sponsored by GSP North America. Over 35 years of manufacturing CV axles, loaded strut assemblies, hub assemblies, and much more. Visit gspnorthamerica.com for more information. No matter if you're changing the brake rotor, installing a brand new CV axle, or a brand new hub unit, the one measurement that you need to pay attention to is run out in the wheel bearing flange. Because run out in the wheel bearing flange will result in run out in the rotor, and that will eventually result in disc thickness variation, which some people call warping or pulsation in the pedal. So anytime you're performing an operation that involves the flange of the wheel, make sure you're checking for runout. This way you're going to avoid a comeback and possible pulsation complaints from the customer after you've worked on their vehicle. If you're reusing the flange, make sure you're checking the flange for debris. Something as small as this piece of paper well, it could be as much as one one thousandth of an inch. Very small. Just make sure you're cleaning up the hub from any rust and debris that may be on there. So you may be wondering too, how much runout is too much runout? Well, first of all, check the specifications from the manufacturer. Sometimes it may even be zero runout in the flange. Some cases it's two ten thousandths of an inch. But keep in mind to keep it very low or try indexing the rotor to minimize the amount of runout in the flange. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.